It's election season in the U.S. Wisconsin is a swing state that could come down to the wire in the midterms. The city of Milwaukee is a Democratic bastion, and black voters are an important pillar of support. But Democrats can't take the black vote for granted this year, because Republicans are making inroads, and voter turnout is sagging, as issues like inequality, inflation, and public safety fuel frustration. Sometimes it'd be hard to tell, because it ain't nothing changing for these people. As much as we push, vote Republican and vote something new and give us a chance. It's a busy morning in Franklin Heights, a primarily black neighborhood in northern Milwaukee. The community outreach group Block is getting ready to head out and drum up support for the Democrats. But first, they break down the latest TV debate in Wisconsin's Senate race. The organization has endorsed the Democratic candidate, Mandela Barnes. I feel a little bit better because he did so well in the debate and everybody saw it. Like, I, I don't know, I'm not trying to be biased. Like, y'all know I'll be honest. I was like, yo, mm. it doesn't feel like we have a lot of time, but there's a lot of time for something to happen, right? They call that October surprise for a reason. Um, and anything could happen between now and Election Day, but I feel a little bit better. Block runs campaigns around well, elections and issues that impact yeah. the black community. Most definitely. It just, it just re, re, um, we know who he is. We saw him in person. We talked to him. We already knew he had it. Like a lack of economic opportunities or the need for criminal justice reform. This zip code has the highest rate of incarcerated black men in the U.S. Executive Director Angela Lang tells us the community needs investment and attention all year round, not just during election cycles. Candidates and, um, and, and parties that kind of come around August, you know, or even uh, maybe a couple months earlier and say, hey, you know, we haven't been here in two to four years. Don't forget to vote for me. Um, and that's very transactional. That doesn't work with our, um, with our community. People see right through that. It is offensive. And you're just trying to see people as votes and commodities and trying to extract as many votes out of this community as possible for your own gain. <laughs> it's time for Brochet Jackson and his team to start knocking on doors. Brochet didn't care much for politics. He started working for Block three years ago because he needed a job. But the 2020 election and helping the Democrats win made him a believer. <laughs> You're used to this, so tell me um, what you're comfortable with. We flipped the state back blue to me. We had a big part of Evers winning, and that just made me feel some type of way. Just that little bit right there. And it made change, and I seen it with my own eyes, and I was a part of it. So that's what I believe. Around 27% of Milwaukee voters are black, and they've helped deliver big victories for the Democrats. But voter turnout in black districts has declined steadily since 2012. Some here are asking what the Democrats have done in return. Said, this voter happens to be on, on the phone right. speaking to a friend who believes the Democrat Senate candidate is too soft on crime. Pretty bad over there. I wouldn't vote for him. I wouldn't dare vote for him. It's too many black women that have been killed this year and last year by reckless driving and domestic violence. Yeah. I understand your From road it's safety to public safety that. and inflation, like Brochet Jackson tells us many voters that. are growing frustrated. People are so tired of it because, like, change ain't helping. Like, it ain't, it ain't doing the stuff that people need, like minimum wage, like we was talking about at work. That's just terrible. How can I live off that? How can a person live off that? Food, a carton of eggs costs $8 almost. How can I buy 12 eggs? It's just rough out here, and they, we got to find some kind of change. It's, it's messed up, and it's like... Wisconsin uh, has seen plenty of political change. Joe Biden won in 2020, but Donald Trump prevailed four years earlier. For some, that back and forth is an opportunity to tip the balance. Kenzer Senate is the African-American outreach director for the Wisconsin Republicans. They opened this black community center three years ago. Kenzer's family hails from Haiti and leans Democrat. 
But he realized at a young age that his views on abortion and faith made him a Republican. But it goes up to the north towards county line. Many people come in here and, you know, the question would be, well, hey, who are you voting for? Who do you vote for? Or why are you a Democrat? And the response probably 99 percent of the time is, well, that's all I know. And nothing is going to change that in terms of, you know, hey, at least looking to the other side of the Republican side to know what is the difference. Kenzer's goal is to get 16 percent of the black vote in Milwaukee in November's midterms compared to 12 percent last time around. At least one voter seems ready to convert. They want us to get in office. As long as they're getting that paycheck, they don't care about the little person. I look at the neighborhood, I look at the city, it's just going downhill. We got trash everywhere. I mean, this city is just deteriorating. It's time for change. Democrats say that Republicans have stymied efforts to invest more in public infrastructure. But Kenzer is clear. He believes the Democrats have failed to improve these neighborhoods. We asked him about accusations of racism in the Republican Party yep, and in Wisconsin itself, well, including Celtics. TV ads attacking black Senate candidate Mandela Barnes. Through the city's Christmas parade. Mandela Barnes wants to end cash bail completely, a dangerous Democrat. But that is not his focus. With her. But yeah. Once again, I'm caring about my folk that are out there that need help with, all right, can I put groceries on my table for my family? Can I have gas to get home from work? Or can I even get to work? Those are the issues that I, 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 I quite frankly only really care about is in terms of the crime, the crime issue, the economy and education. Volunteers have gathered at the community center to head out into the neighborhood and hand out flyers for Republican Senator Ron Johnson. We asked Desiree what convinced her to work for the Johnson campaign. She's not a passionate Republican yet, but she says her generation is curious to know what else is out there. We want to know more. Like we, we want to know why. Or like we, we want to know why you're doing this or why you're doing that, choosing to do this instead of that. Or why you're taking away this and putting that. Like we, 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 we're going to ask questions. We don't want to know why. For Kenzer and Republicans, the central issue is crime. According to Milwaukee media, there have been 184 homicides so far this year, 23 more than at this time last year. 83% of the victims are black. Republicans say the answer is to beef up law enforcement. Yet data shows that socioeconomic factors like access to health care and affordable housing have a big impact on crime rates. And public investment here pales in comparison to wealthier parts of the city. Dora Drake knows those discrepancies well. Oh, hey, how's it going? She's a Democratic State Assembly representative for the 11th District. Hi, how are you? We can't answer the door right now. Where she also grew up. She was a social worker in the criminal justice system, too. She's out knocking on doors to make sure her constituents know she is listening to them. This is where you really hear firsthand what the issues are that people are concerned about yeah. and an opportunity for you to, sh for at least for me to share what work has been done and is being worked on. Well, you have my it's an approach here. that has worked. You. Voters here know her face and name, but the conversations the polls, aren't always easy. Further on, we meet a voter who didn't want to be filmed. He's happy with Dora, but not with the other Democrats on the ballot. Don't give me a bone when I want a bone with some meat on it. Mm. I mean, don't don't give me just Mandela Barnes and Michaels. I mean, I want to be able to choose, you know. Consider, yeah, it's because yeah, there yeah. is a lot of stake. Well, I understand, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, it, but <laughs> I'm gonna let yeah, you get yeah, inside yeah, so yeah, you can yeah, take care of your health. I, 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 this, this, this. So I think you guys just got a raw, at least audio of some of the, like I said, it's not apathy, but yeah. um, frustration yeah. that folks do have. Talk to me about his frustration. I mean, what you make of that? So I think it goes back to folks only coming around during election season or, you know, doing things that are watered down when it comes to issues that directly impact the black community specifically. Members of that community are looking to Mandela Barnes to change that perception. His supporters have shown up in force for his second TV debate 
against Republican Senator Ron Johnson. It's a spirited back and forth in front of a very pro-Mandela Barnes crowd in liberal Milwaukee. But how does Barnes want to address the concerns of black voters and make sure they vote and stick with the Democrats? We have to create jobs right here in Wisconsin, the same kind of jobs Senator Johnson doesn't mind sending out of state or out of the country. Senator Johnson, you have 30 seconds to, to respond to well, that. I fully understand how high the cost of gas is because I fill up my own gas tank. I drive myself around the state, unlike Lieutenant Governor Barnes, who is chauffeured around by state patrol, costing taxpayers over $600,000. We wanted to ask him about his vision, but he didn't take questions after the debate. Senator Johnson also wasn't available to speak to us. Hi, sorry, we no I, questions I, I right talk, now. Not, I, okay. I just want to talk. I got to talk to people all right, first. Yeah, okay, thank hey, you. thank you all for being for sure. here. Um, if Barnes wins, these voters will certainly hold him to account. G's Clippers is an institution in this black neighborhood. The men we spoke to here say they're standing behind the Democratic Party. But we also hear skepticism towards elected officials. I haven't seen the very minimum. You know, a lot of these politicians, to be honest with you, they only stand for one thing, re-election. You know, rather than hearing what's going on in the community and following up with the people in the community. At some point, by voting, I guess we will get some candidates that who talk the talk and walk the walk. So that's why I continue to vote. A lot of people that uh, concentrate on voting from a national perspective, they feel like that their vote, voice is not heard. But on a local level, from our city councilmen, our judges, aldermen, and uh, senate, uh, those votes count actually the most. I do encourage anyone that is registered to vote and is not registered to vote to uh, definitely get involved right now. A message to candidates on both sides of the aisle from a community looking for real change for the better.